happy Thursday. Today's Throwback Thursday, I decided to go to Laura Lee's um, Christmas collection to do an eye look. This is Sleigh Bell and some beautiful shimmer shades in here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. I'm gonna rag to, so I could go into Jolly. There's only two matte shades. This is Jolly. This is Festive wrapped up and um wish list they're all very pretty the um bright lights and cherry chocolate are the matte colors there's a it's a whitish one it's definitely a nude don't even know if y'all could see that here let me show you on my finger <laughs> Okay, and the cherry chocolate. So that color really does stay. I'm going to go ahead and put some eye primer on. We will use the um, Tarte Double Duty Beauty Roll On one. All right, and then we'll just spread it out with our finger. Because that red shade is so pigmented. If you use reds, pinks, um, eyeshadow primer is usually a really good thing because it puts a base between you and your skin. So that you have less less staining i'm not saying you're not gonna have staining because more than likely you still will if you're light complected um i probably still will but i really love her formulas i'm gonna go in with bright lights as the transition i'm just gonna pop it above the crease i may reach into nudie patootie to get a darker shade maybe since that cherry is so out there. So much darker than this shade that I'm putting on. In fact, let me just go ahead and grab Nudie Patootie. I'm going to stay in the same eyeshadow family, basically. Um, we're going to take Reveal. We're going to use that as a transition. Ooh. All right, there we go. Only because cherry is so dark. So if you have this palette and you want to do a look with it, you can do what you want. I personally want something more for it to blend into than just the white color. Which is why I grabbed the nudie palette. So, I mean, you could grab another. Or if you have a single shade. Right now, she does have these on sale. I'm not sure if it's gonna be today if it's still on sale i will look before i post this video but she had a sale where you buy one nudie patootie you get one free i thought that was kind of neat um now we're gonna take the little brush i did just clean my brushes and we're gonna go into cherry chocolate and i'm lightly gonna start putting that into the crease because it's so deep of a color, I am going light-handed with it. I'm taking my time to build that color up. Because a mistake could be catastrophic to the eye look. Just gently putting it into the crease. As light-handed as possible. Always start on the outer edge, especially with really deep colors. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm tapping into the color just very lightly. And then I'm tapping the brush. I'm turning the brush sideways, kind of fluff it a little bit on the inner corners. 
this side's a little darker. So we're gonna take back in that color and we're gonna deepen that outer portion on this eye. Okay, this is where I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do. Part of me wants to go in with Jolly, the silver and pinky color. And then the other part of me wants to go in with Festive. And they do look good together. You know what? Let's try something. Let's take Festive and go on the inner portion of the eye. I'm just dipping into it. And I want to actually pull it all the way across. I just wanted to start on the inner. All right. Now we're going to take this brush again. Just kind of blend. Gonna grab that. Some more color. And pull it up into the crease a little more. All right, now we're gonna take the other side of this brush and we're gonna go into Jolly. I wanna kinda of put it on the center. It might be better to use your finger for that part to actually build the color. I hate when my ear itches. All right, we're gonna take a blending brush with the bright lights on it. I want to um, deepen that crease a little bit and I just can't figure out the best way to do it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take it on this brush. And I wanna stamp it across. like so. I like that you could just kind of wipe it away. Um, it needs a little bit of blending on this side, just a little, to not make the line so harsh. I'm barely touching it, just kind of floofing it out. I'm gonna go back into Festive. Okay. All right, now I want to take this little brush here. Actually, let's take that black brush. We're going to go into Chocolate Cherry.
All right, now we're gonna go back into chocolate cherry, a little lighter. And pull it across. And now I wanna take um, the nudie palette again. I'm gonna grab this original brush. Let's see what we got on here. Maybe it'll work that way. Go into reveal. And I'm gonna take reveal also, kind of build it on top. Take a clean blending brush. Wow, this has gotta be the most intense look I've done. This is a Morphe um, JH30. I got it as a free gift at Ulta. All right, I think that's good. Let's put this back right here. Um, let's curl the lashes. I'll show you how to clean up the edges a little bit in a second. I really do like Laura Lee's formula on her shadows. They are one of the best I have ever used. Basically, <laughs> we're gonna take this sponge that I used for my foundation that believe it or not is clean. And we are just going to pat it around the eye area. And then I'm gonna go into the Aurora palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're gonna use the shade right here. It's called Luna that I um, used on my highlight. We're gonna tap our brush into it. Put it on the brow bone. All right. Let's go ahead and take a little bit more and put it on our cheeks. We're not going nowhere. We're just doing videos today. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some mascara. Part of me wants to put eyeliner on, I just don't know what color. And last time I put eyeliner on, it burned my eyes. You know what, let's go with this tart one. It's a maroon color. All right, let's go ahead and grab some mascara. Better than sex was on top, basically.
It looks so crappy, don't it? All right, let's take this because this also blots the mascara. We're gonna take this suede. And then, sorry I'm not talking a lot. Um, where'd it go? I wanted to use this Laura Lee lipstick in the shade. Kiss me. Kissmas, I think it is, maybe. I love her formula. It dries down so beautifully. And it's a nice red lip to go with this look. Once I put the red lip on, it seemed to, like, get rid of the rest of the makeup. Oh, my hair feels like it's tangled. Um, hope you enjoyed this. This is the final look. It's not bad. I actually like it. The lip kind of takes over, which is fine with me. I love the way the eye turned out. It's soft. It's like a soft glam type of look. And there we go. You could always take, if you feel like the lipstick you're wearing is too light or too, um, heavy on you you could take like this is a thrive lip gloss and you could lighten it the feel of it up so if you have a lip that you feel is too matte you could always add lip gloss to it and it kind of makes it look shinier and prettier um but that this is the final look i actually like the way it turned out gray hairs i will live a very stressful life unless that's makeup that might be makeup actually i think that is makeup some of it's gray hair some of it's makeup lordy but as you can tell <laughs> all right I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow for Friday chit chat. Bye.